well it's a relatively mild day outside and uh, grass is starting to grow a bit I thought oh it's time I got on with that mower that I had given this last year need a recoil spring can't find one so went to where I know place I know and they haven't got one they only do John Deere stuff but never mind anyway so I've ordered one off Evil Bay whether it comes right or not we'll see want a fortune so I thought we'll do a carry on with my project I've started you don't know about yet which I don't think will work it's only playing and uh, you won't be able to see that very well but anyway what I'm trying to do is make a metal mould for my username and I had a that's a bit of a clutch I cut off and I only had this which was a bit heavy and it's got to be, I tried to angle it well that won't go in very well so we've left that alone anyway you know my rings of course that I've made they're all downstairs but except for one or two half ones but these rings that's my latest two shilling one that took a long while anyway I've got all these rings and you know it's field bangers at the weekend I've told you already well several lads want them I thought oh I better tidy them up you know I'm fed up going through them and sorting out sizes I can size them on the fingers but uh, for what I've got and what I can do anyway I thought well I'm fed up doing that I'll stick them on some bits of wire and I've got plenty so and then I thought oh that's a bit boring isn't it I'll, uh, I'll see if I can make some bit of copper chain just to put them on you know make it a bit more interesting won't it and if we do happen to go to a boot sale or anything you know I can hang them on it so that's what I thought I'd do so I had a look through my wire well <laughs> I ain't bored you with this bit you've seen this in nearly every video my box of wire Anyway, I arrived it all out to see what I've got, and I've not exactly tidied it up, but I've put them in loops. Now, I thought, oh, about five years ago, or it's over ten years ago, um, when the price of scrap went up, we were given this wire by the electricians. And I'm trying to look for the, it's not that bit. That's, that's not quite the bit. Anyway, we're given this wire, and we stripped them, and I made it, here it is. And I made, that's the remains that I didn't bother stripping. I made a stripper to do it. Anyway, that's, uh, I think, I don't know what gauge it is, but it's thick enough anyway. Uh, so I had two bits left, and I've just took one off. So what I've done so far, I found some bits of rod, and I've got that bit, but I think that's a bit too big. Now, I don't know if you know how you make the coils. It's ever so simple. You just axle. So coil it around a bit of rod and hacks all through it, you know, and join them together. Um, and that, I've got that a bit thick, so I've got some here, about a quarter, I think. So all I'm going to do is a very quick, simple little jig. And I've just sawn that bit of wood off, sawn it in half, scribed it, and then I just put a saw cut straight down, I've drilled it, and that's only a quarter at the minute, I think. And they'd be a bit bigger. So that's where we've got to. And that's what I'm doing. So, when I get a bit done, I'll probably show you a bit. Like I say, it's just for just something for amusement. A little bit more useful than nothing. So I'm on my third project already a day. And it's only just gone two o'clock. So I suppose, really, we're having a successful day, aren't we? Because I've got <laughs> before dark. Right. I'll get on and do this bit and uh, show you a little bit of what we're trying to do. Well, I've got a little bit done, look. I use that bit of wire, cut them up. I made a little jig, which is and isn't working. All right, what I did, I cut a, cut a piece of wood in half, and I put that piece on just so the axle didn't go through it. But, I found out that... Uh, they're going sideways, uh, maybe I need a lighter blade, but if you can see there, they'll come off, but they haven't gone all the way through. But some of them are working well, so we've got that, 
a little bit done, about me a few teething problems, but that don't look too bad actually, I don't think. Instead of hacksawing it, right, instead of hacksawing it, what I'm going to do is use the Dremel. And so I don't go too far, I've got loads of little discs left. I'll saw that up, like there, so then I can just run the Dremel down and cut them with that, because I think it's got to do a better job. Oh, also, by the way, to, to bend them, I've done two little bits of hardwood with a slot in. So you put one in there and then bend it with the pliers. Because I was using pliers and that and I found it was marking them slightly. I think that'll, that's a better way. So you just drop them in there and bend them with the pliers and nip them, you know. So it's a bit time consuming, especially for an old man like me with <laughs> doddery hands. But anyway, there you go. Well, apart from one or two bit sharp edges, but I'm going to polish it as well. It'll get them off. I think that's, uh, I'm not going to say that alright. I think that's turned out alright. It's got to do the job, isn't it? Hey? Yeah, so... Wasn't a wasted afternoon after all. Right. See what happens. I've got the others a bit smaller, so uh, but we've got a decent length. Look, there you are. Right. See you soon.